So now that we're done with the tutorial part of the video, I wanted to get into a bit of a discussion regarding the safety aspect of this mod. Again, everything in this video is just my opinion. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just telling you what makes sense in my head. If that doesn't work for you, don't listen to me. Uh, you do you, you know, make smart choices and all that. Now, I've seen comments in the previous tutorial about placing the SSD above the battery and how this is a fire hazard. This statement is 100% correct. I acknowledge it and I'll tell everyone if you're expecting this mod to be 100% safe, do not do it. That being said, let's get into a discussion where I'll give you some points to convince you why this mod might be good for you and some points which convince you why it might be bad for you and some alternatives. First off, there's a reason why this is called a modification. You're changing the way the Steam Deck is usually meant to work. That means there will always be some risk and some change as to how it works normally. Does this mean it's 100% safe? No. But in, I, but in my estimation, it is 80 to 90% safe. If you're one of those people who can't deal with the 10% of risk that comes with this installing this mod, then you shouldn't do this. Go for the alternatives in the timestamp. Those are safer. They'll be at the end of the video and they'll fulfill your storage needs. Secondly, let's go over some facts about temperature. The NVMe SSD, like the one I've used in this mod, reaches temperatures up to 70 degrees. That's like the highest it can go. It doesn't mean it's at that level all the time, but it does mean that it can go that high. It usually operates between 30 and 70 degrees and 70 is the highest level. But let's say it runs at 70 all the time. Okay, um, if it gets any higher than that, then the SSD will start to fail and you'll start to lose data. Okay, now if I just place the SSD on the battery on its own, that would definitely be an issue. Like you got a 70 degree piece of circuitry that's right on top of the battery running all the time. That would be dangerous, but I didn't do that. I placed a heat sink and thermal pad on the bottom. Now, you might say, well, it still gets hot. All that does is pull heat away from the SSD. How does that help? Yeah, it does pull heat away from the SSD. But the question is, how much heat does it pull away? Usually these things pull away about five to 10 degrees. Because you have a heat sink pulling away five to 10 degrees and a thermal pad pulling away about five degrees, maybe from the heat sink, what you're dealing with is not 70 degrees directly on the battery, but 70 degrees of radiating heat. So it's radiating in the air around the battery. It's not touching the battery. It's just 70 degrees around the battery. It's above it. Okay. And with the latest mod, which should help a lot as well. The battery is insulated using fiberglass tape, which is heat resistant. Now, how do I know that the battery in the Steam Deck can tolerate temperatures of up to 70 degrees? The answer is gaming laptops. Gaming laptops have CPUs that radiate heat up to 90 degrees while you're gaming. And people have measured the bottom of these laptops and the keyboard area where the CPU is. So usually the CPU is right next to the battery and they measure temperatures on the plastic, not even inside the chassis, on the plastic of up to 60 degrees. So these batteries have material cover them, covering them that have heat tolerances that can withstand that kind of heat and that's for your safety. So if you're telling me that the battery in a gaming laptop can deal with hot air that goes up to 60 degrees and it can't deal with the heat that's radiating out from an SSD in the Steam Decks, 
with all these extra steps to protect it from that heat? Sure, I'd say that's possible, but I'd say that's possible 10% of the time. So does that mean it, does that mean there's not a danger? Yeah, there is a danger, sure. I mean, batteries in electronic devices are inherently dangerous things. Like if you remember the stories with the Samsung Galaxy phones and their batteries exploding, that's the thing that happens. And I do accept that, that, you know, too much heat on the battery can cause it to explode. That's a risk. But we're mitigating that risk and we're working within the tolerances that we know the battery can take. So it should be fine. And I'm generally sure it's okay. Relatively sure. Now, can something happen? Sure. There's a chance something will happen, but there's a chance that something would happen anyways, because every Steam Deck is built differently. There might be a fault in the battery. There might be a fault in the circuitry. Loads of things can happen. And you're dealing with a mod. Mods are unpredictable. They cause unpredictable behaviors in the electronics that you buy. Now, this isn't the safest mod in the world, but it's relatively safe and we're being smart about it. Again, if you're worried, don't do it. In my personal opinion, it's fine. Now, so you have the advantage of putting an SSD in your Steam Deck, which can be up to eight terabytes if you're using a 2280 SSD. If you're using a 2230 SSD, that's only up to two terabytes. What's the disadvantage? Well, there's a 10%. There's also the extra heat. So your battery is gonna suffer a little bit because heat drains batteries faster. Also a full size SSD will take more power than a smaller SSD and it'll drain faster as well. How much faster? Well, I haven't probably tested it yet, but you'll probably lose 15 minutes of game time from a heavy game like Miles Morales. And if you're playing a lighter game like Celeste, you're not even gonna notice really. Because, you know, the CPU is not even going to be pushed enough for that heat to be generated. So there'll be a lot less heat going to the battery. So you won't lose that much time. And aside from that, it has to be said that you have to, just because you've done the mod, isn't the end of it. You have to take care of your Steam Deck. Don't cover up the vents. Make sure it stays away from dust. Don't use it in a very hot area. If you feel that your Steam Deck is overheating, turn it off, clean the fan, do the basics. You know, a, a lot of people do these mods and then, you know, their devices fail like after a year or something, they'll be like, oh, it's because I did this mod. You have to take care of your devices as well. Everything goes hand in hand because on its own, these devices are made to last a long time despite user error, despite you abusing it. You know, if dust gets into it, if you block the vents, it's made to last past those things. But if you're modifying it, you're taking away a bit of that safety. So you have to be a little bit more extra careful with that. That's the whole point of a mod. Okay. So now that we've done all of that, now that we've gone through that discussion, you can decide on your own if you want this mod or not. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. For me, it works. I'm not worried about it. I've been using it for days. I've been playing a bunch of games on it, both heavy games and lighter games. I've been emulating stuff on it. I've had absolutely no issues. You know, it's been running like usual. I haven't really experienced that much of a drop in battery. I've been putting my hand on the uh, plastic shell where the SSD is, and I haven't been feeling it getting hot. So, in my opinion, it's working fine. I'm going to keep pushing it for a month and make a video then and see how it goes.
and should be okay. So now that we've done the discussion on that, what's your alternative? Well, currently I've backed a Kickstarter from Genki. I'll link it in the description. It's called the Genki Safe Point and allows you to plug a 2230 SSD into your deck and charge it at the same time. And a company called Charge has an Indiegogo app which has released something similar for 2280 SSD, which allows you to plug it into your deck and charge it at the same time. Uh, so you have these two options if you don't want to do the mod and it'll do the job. Yeah, I mean, you will have to work around some way of using it while the Steam Deck is stocked, but that's a separate thing. What am I going to do when I get this Genki save point? Well, obviously I'm going to put Windows on it because, because uh, you know, right now the deck isn't um really capable of dual booting or if you do dual boot the second the steam deck os updates it breaks that dual boot so having something that can boot into both windows and steam os is a great thing and plus the reason why i like this mod is because i like having my library in one place I want my emulation station. I want my Steam games. I want my Epic games. I want my GOG games. I want all of my extra stuff in the same place, on the same drive. I don't like changing my SSDs all the time. I don't like not knowing how to label them so I know which is which. I have like 10 one terabyte SSD cards because initially when I had a 512 gig um, 2230 SSD my thing was I want to install as many Steam games as possible so I bought as many one terabyte SSDs uh, SD cards sorry as I could and I actually bought like a holder for them and I was carrying around with them and I was switching them out each time because I wanted to play certain games at certain times you know because that's me but um you know after doing that for years it, it's a hassle for me now i don't want to do it i want all my games in one place on my pc i have all my games in one place on my ps5 i have all my games in one place i don't download and install my games every time i want to play them they're just installed and every time i'm in the mood i just load it up and i play it you know sometimes i want to play an older game sometimes i want to play a newer game that's me but what's right for me may not be right for you so keep it in mind keep the risk in mind it is a mod um not being it, it is a bit of a risk but i'm not being risky about it i'm being smart about it i'm taking suggestions from i've taken the suggestion from the community I'm doing the smart thing. I'm making sure that my Steam Deck is safe. I'm making sure my electronics are safe. Because you know what? A lot of people talk about Steam OS being, Steam Deck being a cheap entry into PC gaming, and it is. But it's still an expensive piece of equipment, and you gotta take care of it. And that's important. You know, you gotta, like, even if you have something that costs $50 or 50 pounds, you know, it's just a little handheld, you know, that's from China, you gotta take care of your stuff. That's important. So, you know, look after your stuff, look after yourselves. Thank you very much for listening to my giant rant here. Like and subscribe the video. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.